Okay guys, um, Dr. James here again from Vet Dojo. Again, just um, outside in the sun, trying to <laughs> spend as much time out here as I can today. So just um, have a short video here um, of a patient that came in yesterday for a total hip replacement and just wanted to um, give you guys a bit of a look at how these guys are generally functioning. Um, this is, you know, like 18 hours after surgery. So it's a um, two-year-old Airedale and had a, a biometrics total hip replacement um, yesterday. And you can see um, that the function on the leg is actually already pretty good. And I would say that most dogs are actually functioning at this level um, <clears throat> at this point in time afterwards. And then they generally get stronger and stronger. And one of the things to note is um, when we put the hip back in, sometimes there's a lot of muscle tension. They can have a bit of discomfort. And sometimes when we do the approach and we have to actually um, stretch and um, pull on the femur to get it out of the way of the acetabular preparation, we can get a little bit of sciatic neuropraxia, but this dog um, is looking pretty good. It's bearing a good amount of weight. Um, so yeah, very, very happy. And so um, I guess compared to a femoral head and neck excision, um, I'd argue that there's really not many um, femoral head and neck excisions that are gonna look this good um, this short amount of time after surgery. So just a very quick one on that one. So have a great day guys, talk to you soon.